Hello everyone, my name is Miss Hernandez and today we'll be going on a virtual tour to one of my favorite places in California called the California Academy of Sciences located in San Francisco. Now, what is the California Academy of Sciences? Well, they are a rainforest. Aquarium, Planetarium, and a Natural History Museum all in one. Before you even get inside into the California Academy of Sciences, this is what the outside looks like with a living roof on top. What else is inside the California Academy of Sciences? Well, they have a library of life, giant land of sea, gems and minerals on earth, hidden wonders, color of life, and the Tusher African Hall, and many more other little exhibits. Now, as we start, we will be going on our virtual tour that we will be doing. Um, so as we click on either the header, it says virtual tour, or this picture, it will lead us to the website of the California Academy of Sciences. And as we see here, we are at the home page of the virtual tour. So you can move your, you could use your mouse and just move around. As you can see, we have the West Hall, Rainforest, and the Planetarium. This is just a part of the museum. On the bottom right, you could switch what language you would like to read this, in this case, we'll be sticking with English. On the right top, you can zoom out or zoom in. On this a little icon we can switch what floor we would like currently we're on the main floor there is the aquarium level two level three and the living roof And as we stick onto the main floor, as you can see on the left side of your screen, you can also decide what floor you would like to go to. We're sticking to the main floor. You can use a filter and do either look at amenities, which is like food and garden, the points of interest, which is their little exhibits. And we also have a sensory guide that has noise, visual, touch, smell, low, moderate, and high. So we are going to look at a couple places that I really liked. So my first one that I really enjoy going to is the rainforest.
and as we as we enter the rainforest as you can see you can move your screen around and you just imagine yourself if you were there and as we see we have these little camera icons you could click on it and it tells you more information and then you also could hit view more event photos and this just gives you more of an insight of what it looks like from the perspective of others And if you want to go back to where we just at, all you have to do is hit your back button. We're clicking on the rainforest again. And now we are clicking on arrows. And as you see, we are just going And as we continue to click, we can see there's more little icons. Right here on the bottom, you can make it bigger and see and as we move out of the rainforest we'll be entering the aquarium which is my other favorite part and as you can see there's so many parts of the aquarium we have the amazon flooded forest tunnel the main level of the aquarium, the California coast, the Philippine coral reef, and the water planet. As we are at the California Academy of Sciences, we'll be sticking with the California coast. And here's a glimpse of what the inside looks like and as you could tell we're seeing this beautiful giant aquarium And as we move outside of the California coast, we'll be going to the Philippine Coral Reef. While this is not the best image of the Philippine Coral Reef, you are able to sit, if you're able to visit there, you are able to sit down at these steps or stand and just enjoy your time staring at all the coral reefs and the many marine species in there. 
and as we click on the event photos, we'll see more of the perspective of the Philippine coral reefs. Here is a close-up of what I was talking about earlier where you could sit down or stand and just enjoy the view of this aquarium. As you could see, there's many places you could look at within the gram on our virtual tour there's so many things you can learn about within the cover academy of sciences and we'll just be looking at our last place the living roof So as you get to the top of the academy, as you could tell, this is the view of it as it is located in the heart of San Francisco Golden Gate Park. And this is our living room. And now as we exit out of this virtual tour, we'll be moving on to the animal webcam. And as you click either the header or the image below, we can see that there is a many possible places that we could be looking at animal at animal webcams currently we are looking at the penguins that are located in the african hall and we scroll down below as you see there's a live penguin cam the reef lagoon the filipino Philippine Coral Reef Cam and the Fa Falaron Islands live webcam. So we will be going to the Reef Lagoon Cam. As this is a live cam, this is 24 24/7 hour um, footage. As you can see, we do see all these rays and you're able to look at footage from earlier throughout the night and all day long and if you scroll down you can get more information about these fishes and how they train their rays and how there's a stingray live app and any other questions that is stated on here. And as we move out of the reef lagoon cam, we'll be visiting the Philippine Coral Reef Cam.
So here's live footage of people who are visiting the Academy of Sciences. And all you can see is all of the coral reefs and many, many different species of fishes. And as we go back and we are leaving the webcam, while you cannot physically be at the California Academy of Sciences, you could bring the Academy at home with you. If you have your mom, your dad, or any parent or guardian, they can bring the Academy home to you by clicking on the link that we're on. And if you scroll down, there's so many activities you could do. In this case, we'll be clicking science at home. And as you can tell, there's different activities you can work on at home. And in this case, we'll be looking at the California coast. And if we click this button right here, we could get a preview and download the activities that the Columbia Academy of Science has provided for us. And as you can see here, with the help of your parent or guardian, they can help you do different activities. And there is a little mini lessons that you can do at home. In this case, this is the California coast where you could be learning about the shorelines, tide pools, kelp forests, and caring for the coast. And as we go back to the science at home, on the right hand side is all the other mini lessons and activities you could do from home provided by the California Academy of Sciences. And as we go back, here are some pictures from my recent trip that I just went to. As we could see, I have tons of marine species on here. We do have some rays, fishes, sand dollars. We have a poisonous 
frog on the left hand corner we have the famous albino alligator and we have their two lovely talking macaws now it's your turn to explore the, Cal the california academy of sciences on your own thank you have a nice day bye